Hi, uh, this is Denis Markovsev from Inflectra. I'm going to show how to record a purchase order scenario in Dynamics 365 for operations with rupees. Here I have Dynamics 365 for operations opened uh, in Chrome browser. This is a demo instance uh, of the application. And here is rupees. So uh, the main prerequisite for testing Dynamics 365 for operations uh, in Chrome uh, is to set uh, in browser settings default click mode uh, to click. Uh, it means that Rapis will be simulating a physical click uh, and will not be sending uh, events to click on buttons in the application. So this is the specifics of Dynamics 365 uh, for operations. So oh, let me create uh, a new test. I will name it D365 one and I'm choosing web cross browser support, Chrome HTML, and I'll be using RVL. Okay, here is empty test created, and now I'm starting uh, recording. First step, uh, I will be choosing uh, a company. So I click on the current company, then expand uh, the drop down and scroll down to USPI company. And you can see here in the recording activity dialog that my uh, actions were captured, uh, that I uh, clicked on the company, opened the drop down, and clicked on the cell. Uh, this click, uh, I don't need it. I can delete it. And now I'm going to navigate uh, to purchase orders page. So I click on search. Enter text. Okay. So my actions were captured. I don't need this body. Uh, let's finish at this point to see what was recorded. So let's go to Rupees. Here are our steps that we just recorded. Uh, what I'm going to do is to insert just one row in the beginning. I'm going to navigate to initial page every time uh, I am running uh, this test. So the initial page will be the one that displays uh, DAT uh, default uh, company here. So I copy URL and put it here. Okay, so let's test what we just recorded. Play. And so this should choose the company. And then uh, navigate to purchase orders page. Okay, uh, this part is working and we are ready to proceed with recording uh, of next steps. Go to the piece, start recording again. Uh, click on new to start new purchase order. Then uh, I need to select uh, vendor account. And you can see here how a piece captures my actions. Uh, it understands the grid and understands the data that uh, I used. Okay, also I paused interception of mouse, resume. Uh, I want to choose uh, warehouse uh, as well. Opening the drop down, selecting some value here. Okay. Okay, so we created uh, a new order. Let's finish at this point uh, and see that our recording uh, is fine. And I'm going to 
insert my steps uh, here after the previous recording. Oh, I don't need this body. Can delete it. Okay, uh, let's test. Just running the test uh, from the beginning. It navigates to default company. And now it should choose USPI. Then go to purchase orders page. And then start a new, new order. Select a vendor. Select a warehouse. Uh, OK. So the new order created. Let's uh, record uh, adding a few lines uh, to, to this order. So here we have our purchase order lines. So I go to repeat. And click record again. Okay, and start recording. So click on expanding item. Uh, choose some item from here. Uh, then I want to let, let's move my dialog here, and I want to change uh, units. Uh, of this line, so I expand and choose uh, kilograms instead of funds, and then uh, I can go to quantity and set a different value here, for example, five. And let's add one more line here, expand, uh, choose some other product, go to quantity and update quantity to some other value and the rest what i'm going to do is to save uh, my purchase order so i'm pressing save okay we can finish recording let's go to Repeat RVL spreadsheet, inserting my steps, and let's go through the recorded steps to see what was recorded. So in line uh, 33, we expand uh, item in table, and then uh, in line 36, we select particular product. Then uh, we click on a cell with value LB uh, and in column unit. This is not what we actually want. We want to uh, click uh, in row uh, number zero. We do not want to click on a specific value in this column. Okay, and when we click it here, we choose kilograms, fine. And again, in line uh, 45, we click uh, on value one. And we don't want it. Uh, it's better to click in a particular line where we enter uh, our purchase uh, information. So we click in row uh, zero now. Okay, enter in text. Let's go down. We click in row number one to expand uh, table with items. Uh, this is fine. And again, here. Uh, for quality, it's better to click on row number one. This is the second row with which we interact. Okay, it looks like it is working. And one more uh, tweak. I noticed that this uh, headline uh, button uh, sometimes can be hidden. Let's go here. It can be scrolled up. And we don't see this headline uh, link. So to make sure it is uh, visible uh, when we click on it, I need to add just one more statement here. Acting uh, on this uh, object and ensure that 
it is visible. Also, final change to the test, I go to settings and I want to make it more resilient to delays with loading of data. So I'm going to change a couple of settings here. First, interval between attempts to find an object. Let's uh, set it to half of a second. And then uh, let's uh, try to find objects at least 20 times between we, uh, before we give up. Okay, saving my test. And let's uh, execute it. So now it should create the purchase order in the company that we chosen. And uh, it will add two lines uh, to product lines in this order. Okay, the spark was uh, already tested. Should be fine. Selecting warehouse. Okay, and now a piece starts to select items, changing units, setting quantity, adding new line, and choosing the second line and pressing save. So our purchase order has ID uh, 32. So let's close it. And here uh, in the table uh, of purchase orders, we see that it was uh, successfully saved. And here is the report of her piece. So thanks for watching this video on recording a purchase order scenario in Dynamics 365 for operations with her piece. If you would like to know more about how RPS enables uh, testing of Microsoft Dynamics 365 solutions, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.